welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be up potting this beautiful little succulent, commonly known as a bear's paw. It gets its name from this incredible shape and fuzzy texture of the leaves. When I first got this plant, almost two years ago now, it came in this tiny little pot. And I kept it in there for about six months before up potting to this one. It's been in here for over a year, but it's at that crucial stage where it's about twice the size of the container it's in. So I'll be up potting to a container that's about twice the size of the old one. And we're moving from plastic to terracotta because I have a good understanding of how this plant grows. I really recommend plastic pots for beginners because you can tell if the soil is dry or wet just by lifting the container. You'll be able to feel the weight of the water in the soil. That way you can tell when it's completely dry so that we don't overwater. And this one could be slightly thirsty. I see a few of these leaves are kind of thin. These are normally very plump. They can be almost round. They store an incredible amount of water in the leaves. The first thing I like to do is just see how the plant looks and see where it's going to sit in its new pot. And look at how beautifully that fills it. And this terracotta has one nice big drain hole at the bottom. So first we'll just add a little bit of potting soil. This is my succulent mix. It's got added perlite for better drainage. And we'll add a couple handfuls of that. And then judge how deep we want our plant. That looks just about perfect. Another advantage to plastic pots is they're a lot easier to remove. We can just give them a little squeeze here and I'm supporting the plant. It's okay if we lose a couple leaves, but I wanna to try to keep them intact. Looks like a nice healthy set of roots and it's actually not too root bound, which is good. We don't wanna see the roots coiling in here a lot because that means we've waited too long to up pot. If you do see a lot of roots, you can just very gently tease them apart. I'm just gonna lightly roughen up that square shape, just rounding those edges. Just like that. And I did just water this soil, so that's why it's a little damp. It's okay if we sever a couple roots, that'll actually promote new root growth. But we do want to be gentle here. Now we'll just recheck our soil depth. And once we have it centered and level, we can start backfilling in with more soil. Just settle the soil, give it a little tap. At this point, I like to just look over the plant and make sure that we're happy with it. We wanna make any changes now before we water it in. So we could adjust the soil level, recenter the plant, or even pick a brand new pot. But I'm really happy with this, so we're gonna water it in. This will just finalize everything. And even though I did just water the plant before we up-potted, we wanna make sure to settle all that new soil. So we'll give it a really good soak. Because I am growing this indoors, I'm going to ditch this terracotta basin for a plastic one. Because terracotta can actually allow water to pass through. 
So if it's on a wooden windowsill, it can actually rot the wood. We did lose a few leaves in the process, but we'll just add those to the soil and they may set down roots. And this should hopefully plump back up and start to set out some new growth. And once we see that, we can start taking stem cuttings. I hope you enjoyed the video of up potting this bear's paw succulent. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.